Next in this series, we'll highlight how you can electronically file, amend, and cancel VFR and IFR flight plans with iFlight Planner through Lighthouse Flight Service. From the weather brief, we're going to navigate to the flight plan filing view using the tabs or menu in the upper right. Here is where the information stored in your personal profile comes together with your aircraft profile, along with the data entered into and calculated by the planner to make flight plan filing really easy. When filing VFR or a domestic IFR flight plan, the only piece of information we need from you is the number on board. That's it. Once that's entered, click the green File Flight Plan button and you're on your way. IFR ICAO flight plans and VFR flight plans into the Washington DC SFRA are obviously a bit more involved, but if you've taken the time to set up your aircraft profile with ICAO filing information correctly, there's not much additional information we need before we can file a flight plan for you. And you can file a flight plan as far ahead as you would like. If your planned departure is more than 24 hours from the current time, your flight plan will be held as to be filed until we're within 24 hours of your flight. If you're within 10 minutes of departure, iFlight Planner will simply adjust your departure by the necessary time to meet the 10 minute requirement. You can amend VFR and IFR flight plans at any time by clicking File Flight Plan. However, if you filed IFR and are within 46 minutes of your departure, you must contact ATC or Flight Service directly to amend. Finally, if your flight plan is a no-go and you need to cancel, just click Cancel, keeping in mind again, if you're within 46 minutes of your departure time, you must contact ATC or Flight Service directly. That's it. While there is a lot happening behind the scenes here, we hope you'll find filing flight plans with iFlight Planner as easy as it gets. Until next time.